In early 2020, the Centerville schools, the school board, and most importantly, the community came together with a $6 million levy that was to allow the school to have huge amounts of expansion to allow their students a better place to learn. Unfortunately, the inflation over the next four years would slow that down. So this is part of the expansion. So what we have here is our new, the hallway stayed the same throughout here. The flooring is new. The cafeteria used to come through this area here. This is uh, the new senior area, which you see here. Well, we just got our new gym and we got our commons expanded with new flooring and new locker setouts. It's a pretty nice facility now. It was nice before, but it's definitely a lot nicer now. Unfortunately, the project started just as COVID did as well. And this started back in 2020. Uh, there was a bond passed by the community to provide, I believe, $6 million. Uh, of course, this was right before COVID. And then after COVID, as everyone's aware, inflation rose up, prices, your buying dollar did not meet the same exact amount. So what was $6 million back in 2020 turned into be about 3.5 in 2024. This massive new expansion opens up opportunities for students, including a larger and second gym, which allows more students to have lunch, meaning that we don't have to have small children waiting until later in the day for nutrition. It also means shorter hours during practice. And now this is one of the big things. There was two things with this project was having lunch in a bigger area to accommodate more kids, which we have done. And the second is for practices. From this, practices are over by 6.30 every night. Kids are back home no later than seven o'clock. Despite these advances, more help is needed due to the inflationary pressure on the dollar. However, the school district and the students are very, very happy with the progress. I believe the levy will last for 20 years on the community to pay for this. Um, so I am looking at other options such as grants to the state, um, possibly low interest loans to find ways to finish up the rest of the project, including building our locker rooms and um, just fine-tuning fine some additional things. I feel like we're a lot more connected in with the school. We do a lot, we see all of the preschoolers through the seniors, everybody's seeing everybody everywhere. So we're a lot more connected. This is a great deal. I, I, I believe this is something that's gonna be utilized for many years and it's, it's awesome. I'm really happy that this could happen for everybody. Go Miners! In Centerville, I'm James Rowland, MTN News.